Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Okay, so I've been wanting to try, you know, Starbucks pumpkin pumpkin drink. I was gonna get the cold brew pumpkin from pumpkin foam, but I just decided um, to try the latte because um, I don't know. It just seemed like the most similar to like the uh, just the regular iced coffee. Now McDonald's has theirs out, but I think either my taste buds changed or they didn't or they gave me just a regular coffee, iced coffee, yesterday. So I gotta try it again because I have a free one that I can get. But I bought one. And I was like, let me try a small one because I didn't want to get a big one and lug it around and be spilling it. So. Um, I got a bit a small one and I ended up having an eye cream around home so I was like I, I think they gave me the wrong one. But um I'm gonna try Starbucks pumpkin spice latte and I got almond milk and light whipped cream. So see. And remember I remember I said I was a fan of the almond milk. Cause I like that it kind of like isn't prominent. It's like, but I got the unsweetened one, so I don't know the unsweetened vanilla. But um, I'm gonna see how it does because I won't remember. I remember it wasn't bad. I was like, you know what? The chocolate one I wasn't too crazy about because it reminded me of that old school like oval tea with like the sediment at the bottom or the res you know like it doesn't all mix in and I didn't really care for that that much but um it tasted okay but you know but the almond the regular almond one with the vanilla it I like that it kind of just wasn't you know. I don't know, I just think it's a good alternative to milk. And then if I get this, if I like this enough, I won't have to, um, you know, take those pills all the time. <laughs> but I was thinking just to get the 2% one, but I was like, let me try this. I just let me whip this all out. Oh, and then I also got another free stone. But I'm not getting that right now. I had breakfast earlier. Alright, let's see. The pumpkin is like really dominant. Hold on. I taste the almond. I taste it. Like, I, the one I got from the one that's unsweetened, um, the unsweetened vanilla, I didn't really, I didn't really taste it. But it wasn't like a good thing. It was like, oh, I don't taste it, but it's not, it's like I know something's there because I know it's there, because I put it there, but, so it was going to bother me, it was going to distract me, but, I don't know, you guys, this is actually pretty good. Because you know why? The pumpkin is such a dominating, the spices are so dominating, I think, that it doesn't, um, I don't know, it's different than the oat milk. I didn't really care for the oat milk. I got the oat milk. I didn't like tasting it, you know, tasting it through the green tea. And green tea is one of those things that you're like, you don't want, it's like, it, it should overpower, you know. I'm gonna sweeten it up a lot, but this is actually good. Like, I think I would get it like this again. I would get a drink like this. But I'd be interested to know what other drinks would taste like. Because I think it, it depends on the flavoring of the drink. So if it was like. Chocolate, it might be good. Well, chocolate would be good because I like Hershey's almond. But if it was like strawberry or vanilla, might be good. 
banana or something, like banana smoothie or something. I actually like it, you guys. I like it with the almond milk. And I like that I don't have to worry, like, I don't have to think about... The straw keeps getting stuck in there because it's little. I wonder why they give this kind of lid instead of the sippy cup. Ah! Hold on. Yeah, you guys, I suggest you try this with the almond milk because I think that it really, it, I don't know, it's not overpowering, it's not, like I'm assuming they use sweet and almond milk. I gotta look it up on the thing, but it, it's not overpowering. It really fits with this. I think maybe it could be the spices, but I, like I said, I would have to try it in something else. But I, that's what I said when I tried the almond milk, is that I think it's very, it has a very versatile, versatile thing about it that I like. So, I mean right now, in my refrigerator I got it, like two, two cartons of um, the lactate low fat. So I wouldn't be, I'm not going to be using it anytime soon for cooking, but I was thinking of doing one of my pasta, uh, you know like those rice or anything, with the almond milk, just to see what it does to it. But because it's the vanilla, even though it's unsweetened, I just think it's going to have like a, something's going to get triggered in the ingredient, in the powder that they use or whatever, and it's going to, yeah. so I don't know, but we'll see. I, I definitely am a fan of almond milk though, as far as using it, like mixing it in drinks and stuff, so far I don't, like I said, I don't drink milk in general like straight up, but I'm looking for things that um, I can do when I'm out, like if I'm out and I want a milkshake or something, I mean, almond milkshake, <laughs> or do I want to risk the bubble gut if I don't have my pills? <laughs> But anyway, you guys, okay, so I give Starbucks pumpkin spice latte with almond milk. Um, thumbs up. And I give it overall, as far as what I get it again. The price is kind of expensive because you could only get it in Venti for some reason. Because I wanted to try it in a tall, which I never get tall. I always get at least minimum grande. Well, with me, I usually get minimum Venti, so it is kind of weird, but. For this thing, because I wasn't sure how to, because I was so disappointed with the oat milk, I was like, if I don't like it, I'm mean, like, <laughs> but I'm glad I liked it. So yeah, you guys, give it a try. It's pumpkin season, and definitely get you a scone too. All right, you guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.